Section 10.6, page 743, talks about the shortest path problems. Graphs that have a number assigned to each edge are called weighted graphs. Weighted graphs are used to model computer networks, communication costs, such as monthly cost of leasing a telephone line, the response time of the computer over these lines, or the distance between the computers, can all be studied using weighted graphs. Now, they talk about figure two. Figure two, we have this works and plays, show you some values. These are like, like routes of planes. Uh, several types of problems involve weighted graphs arise frequently, determining a path of least length between two vertices in a network is one such problem. To be more specific, let the length of the path of a path in a weighted graph be the sum of the weights of the edges of that path. The reader should note that this use of the term length is different from the used length to denote number of edges in the path without weights. So you really want the least weight, not the least number of edges. So we talk about short we're gonna study those three. One of them talks about mileage between those cities, one talks about time, and one talks about cost. So if I wanna fly, I wanna do I wanna pay or I wanna drive. So they talk about there's really not much, it's common sense. There's an algorithm to find the length between, the shortest length between the two city connected, simple and directed weight graph, and let's get straight to it. So it's just common sense. If I look at number two and I start off and I say, okay, well, let's see, find the length of the shortest path from A to Z. So just to get this really going, if I go at random, if I run, that's 3, 8, and 9, that's 12. But if I run from A to B, that's 2. And from B to E, that's also 2, that's 4. And so this is 2, this is now I'm at 4. I could run to D, this is 3, and this is 4. So instead of running this way, I will run to D and I will run to Z. And that will be 2, 4, 5, 7. This is a weight of 7. This is the shortest path if this is weighted. And that's pretty much how it works. 4 was a bit complex. I had to play with it a bit. So 4, it turns out, if I go to D, then I'm stuck with a 4 and a 5. That's massive. If I go to B, that's 2. A to B. B to E, that's 1. And from E, I could run to 3 and 8, 3 and 1 and 6. So I ran to C. I could have went from B to C as well, that's 3. So that works the same way. Then I could run to F. Then from F I could run to I and I to M. And M I could run to P. And P I could run to S. And from S I could run to Z, avoiding the 8. So this turns out to be, uh, let me count, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You might find a different, but I was going to really skip this problem because it's a bit messy, but I thought I'll do it anyways. How about here? Find the region of the shortened path between A to D. Well, if I go direct again, that's 4, that's 9. That's really a lot. But if I run this from A to C, that's 3. Avoid the 6. If I go through the 2, I'm going to go through the 5 and just go through D. So A, C, D, that's 6. 
and if I run from A to F. Well, I'm going to go A, C, D. I already got established that that's the shortest. A, C, D, and then I'll run to F. And that's going to be 11. And the reason I don't want to take this route because there's a 5 there and then a 2 on top of it. So instead of coming down, I'll just go straight at it. How about A, uh, C, starting at C, and ending at F? Well, starting at C, ending at F, not the 6. I'll take the 3 for sure, so I'll go to D. And there, I'll go straight to F. And that will be an 8. And if I take here, I find two paths that are the same. If I want to run from B to Z, well, one of them runs... If I run B, so if I run to C and back to D or straight to D, that's the same thing. So I could say B, D. Again, B, C, D, it's costing the same. It's really five each. Then from there, I'm going to run to F, five, because if I go down, I'm adding one to the five. And then from there, I'll run to G, then to Z. And that turns out to be 60. Find the shortest path and mileage between those cities. I want to run from New York. New York dot A. Well, in mileage wise, if I stop by, let me see, that's 722, 16, 23, Twenty-four, twenty-four, thirty, fifty. This is bigger, so direct will do. Play with the calculator with the numbers, because this other route turns out to be more than twenty-four, fifty-one. Okay, if I want to run from Boston to San Francisco. Well, it turns out the best route is running through Chicago. And then you run, this is 9, 1800, 1860 some. This is 18, so that's the route. So through Chicago. And if I want to run from Miami to Denver, Denver, Denver. It turns out the best way is to go through Atlanta, then to run through Chicago. And if I want to run from Miami to at A, the best way is still go through Atlanta, Chicago, and Denver. find the least expensive flight well the same deal here we're running from the same two cities we want to go from New York to Los Angeles well the cheapest if you count the, the money turns out to be this is 60 130 so direct will do so part a going from New York to Los Angeles direct Part B, I want to run from Boston to Chicago. That's Boston to Chicago, right? I'm sorry, Boston to San Francisco. Boston to San Francisco. It turns out via Chicago. Oh boy.
So Boston to San Francisco. If I run from Boston, Chicago and Chicago to San Francisco directly at the cheapest. C. If I run from Miami all the way to Denver. Well, it turns out Atlanta Chicago and then I run straight to Denver and D if I want to run from Miami to Los Angeles Atlanta Chicago and Okay, I did mess up. This is not true. C. If I went to Atlanta, that's 60. Chicago. If I went for New York, and from New York, I could run through. I forgot which one was it, C. To Denver. To Denver. Through Chicago. And here, that's not true either. If I'm not from Miami to LA, I'll go through New York, which is $99 instead of $99.69, and then direct there. That'll work. Hmm. Find the shortest route between those while well, you look at the times. And again, we're running in New York to LA, I believe the first one was. New York to LA, Boston to San Francisco, Miami to Denver, and Miami to LA. Okay. So if I run between those, the shortest would be through four hours. That would be two, four hours as well. New York to LA. It seems direct. Because that's two hours. That's four hours. Yeah. B. If I want to run from Boston through San Francisco. So it seems the best way 50, 150. This is bigger. So through Chicago. And I could go. straight then. C. If on a one from Miami to Denver, it turns out two hours, uh, one thirty two and three. So to New York. Chicago and then Denver and D if I run Miami to LA Miami to LA again if I take this route that's 133 Alto New York Two hours and forty-five minutes. I want to run to an A, and then a direct would be the easiest. Three fifty because that's one fifty. That's more. That's more. Yeah, that's the fastest path. Explain how to find a path with the least number of edges between two vertices. In an undirected graph, by considering it as the shortest path, that's really easy. 
just assign a weight make them all the same assign a weight of one to each edge or assign the same weight to all the edges then that will solve the problem then you would really take the shortest path and with the weighted graph that would be the shortest that's pretty it for this section